CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. I just want to show you guys uh, how to manipulate objects within a robot cell inside of RoboGuide. So RoboGuide can definitely be finicky at times. There's like a lot of like weird things that it'll do and it's sometimes it's more annoying uh, than a help. Uh, mainly because the robot thinks it's the real world robot so whereas certain things may not really matter in simulation and, and trying to get the job done and do the things you want to do right now uh, it is the, basically identical to a real world robot so you're able to load uh, this code into a real world robot it's gonna operate almost identically to the way that it does in RoboGuide uh, so the first thing I want to go ahead and point out we're gonna jump into the software here and uh, Notice if we go from this pallet over here to this conveyor, we can go, we can go, we can go, we can go, we can go. Okay, well, we can keep going. I don't know why. Okay, well, that shouldn't have let us do that. Um, we're on the back side of the robot, so this robot should not have gave, given us the ability to pass through here. I don't know why it just allowed that. So you'll see it goes red like this when the robot reaches a position, this triad right here in the circle, sphere. Uh, it'll go red when the robot can't actually reach that position. And it should have done that on the back side. I'm not sure why it didn't. So this position's reachable, this position's not reachable. Okay. Boom. Okay, now we're reaching non-reachable position. I'm gonna rotate around this back side. Yeah, I'm actually not familiar why it's allowing us to do this. I don't know if this particular robot model has the capability to reach behind itself like this, but generally you only have like a 360 range you have a 180 and then another 180 on the other side there um, so maybe this particular robot does have the capability which it's an m710 robot I believe uh, which I'm not familiar with that being the case uh, but say for instance the, the issue that if, if you have a reach uh, issue back here it's because the robot can't come behind itself uh, it has like a hard stop a lot of times right here in the the back center of the robot and, and sometimes it can go a little bit over, like it may be like 190 degrees or something. Uh, and that depends on your, your robot model. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I know there's there are different variants of robots that give you a little bit more uh, reach on the back side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and travel to the front side. So this is the front side of the robot. And you can kind of tell, because it kind of tries to show uh, your, where your cables come out of the robot and you can tell this is the back side. See, matter of fact, that's the hard stop thing right there that's actually uh, even in this 3D model. So I don't know what's going on with the, the robo guide allowing us to move through the back side the way that it is. I feel like there's some type of glitch going on right now. Or if you notice you can't reach coming across this way, it's because your robot's probably uh, turned around. So just click into your robot or whatever object you want to manipulate. Uh, and then for this particular uh object it's the z we want to rotate about z so the way these work is is z you have your x your y and then your z and so then you have your x your y then your z then you kind of think about it like this you have your x minor your y minor and your z minor uh to kind of help kind of keep things in line so like whenever we rotate about r it's going to rotate us about the z so we're gonna go ahead and put in 180 degrees, apply, and notice the robot is flipped around to the other side. Uh, so now the front of the robot is facing our conveyors and whatnot.
Yeah, this robot has some type of issue going on with it. I'm not familiar of a M710 that has the ability to just travel through the backside of itself. Definitely strange. But being able to manipulate any object's position, it's as simple as click, double clicking on the object and then location. You just change where the location of the particular object is. Um, and hopefully we added some value and added a couple more little pointers in there that's going to help you through your processes. Also, hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel because we have a ton more content coming out uh, on FANUC RoboGuide as well as like Mir AMRs and just other industrial technologies. So we look forward to catching you all in the next one.